Chapter 18, Lesson 1, Multiplying Fractions. Hopefully you'll see that multiplying fractions is much less complicated than adding and subtracting fractions. So what we have here, we've got two different ways that you can do this same problem. Uh, number one, you can multiply straight across. Numerator times numerator equals my numerator. So we have 2 times 4 equals 8. Denominator times denominator, 8 times 5 equals 40. And then I can and then simplify the fraction if needed. Well, <clears throat> the greatest common factor of 8 and 40 is 8. So that's why I divided by 8 and came up with a 1 fifth. Now, over here, on this the red problem, you'll notice that I have simplified here. Now, basically, you you get a choice. You can you can simplify to begin with, like the four and the eight, or I can simplify larger numbers at the end, the eight and the forty. So it, it's all up to you on on what you what your preference is. But if it were me, I think four and the eight are a whole lot simpler to simplify than the eight and the forty. So after I simplify, and it simplifies the exact same way. What's the greatest common factor of 8 and 4? Well, it's 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then I multiply across. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Now, we're not finished yet. 2 tenths can be still simplified further, so I divide by 2, and I get 1 fifth. So let's practice a couple problems. So first, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look across. Can I simplify the 1 and the 6? Nope. Can I simplify the 4 and the 5? Nope. So I multiply across. Five, 1 times 5 is 5, and 4 times 6 is 24. Can I simplify those two fractions? Or I'm sorry, can I simplify that fraction? No, I can't, because the greatest common factor is 1. So let's look across here. I've got 2 and 7. Can't do that, because the greatest common factor is 1. How about 3 and 9? You're right, I can. I can divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 9 is 3. So then I multiply across. 1 times 2 is 2. 7 times 3 is 21. So give the video a pause, and then you try. So here's what we have. I cannot cross simplify. I have the 3 and the 5 because the greatest common factor is 1. 5 and 3, greatest common factor is 1. So I multiply across. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. Let's take this problem and we'll just be patient with me. 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 twentieths, I can simplify them to be 1 half. Now I had to think a little bit about the 20. Now, if I cross simplified, I can divide 5 and 5 by 5, and I get 1. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 4 divided by 8 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So do you see the difference in not simplifying or simplifying first and then simplifying second? I hope you do. Now, what exactly does it mean when I have these fractions here. What is it what what am I showing? Well how fractions work are if I have this shape, okay, I you've noticed I've shaded half of the shape. Okay, so one row is shaded. So really I've got two rows, one of them shaded. How many columns do I have? Well if you count the columns I've got one, two, three, four, five columns. Okay, so two rows, one and two, and then one, two, three, four, five. So that's how I have one half times two fifths. So to show this, multiply. So two tenths, because there's ten boxes all together. There's ten boxes all together. 
two of them are shaded. Now, I can simplify that to be 1 fifth, because I divided by 2. Divided by 2. So when I'm multiplying fraction by fractions, I get something smaller than I started with, and this is why, because I'm taking something and splitting it up into smaller pieces. Now, again, the one half I shade one half because there's two rows, so one of the two rows. Two fifths, there's five columns, so I shaded two of the five columns. So go ahead and give the video a pause. You try shading in your box right here. I shaded my three fourths blue because there's one, two, three, four rows, and three of the rows I shaded colored it highlighted blue. Two of the five columns I shaded in purple. So that's why I highlighted the three fourths purple and or blue, I'm sorry, and the two fifths purple. Now I can multiply. Now I'm going to simplify prior to my multiplication. And I can simplify the two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. So three times one is three. And two times five is ten. So of this shape there are twenty boxes altogether. 20 boxes all together. Six of the 20 boxes have both purple and blue. So that's how I got three tenths of the shape shaded. Here's your bell work and good luck.